When I was a kid, I loved spy movies, and I specifically loved them for all of the gadgets. Nowadays, we have smartphones which are infinitely more powerful than anyone could have imagined 10 years ago. So with this in mind, here are seven spy hacks that you can use on your Android phone right now. First on this list we have Spyzy, and this allows you to track and monitor an Android phone remotely. Not only does this allow you to track people's locations, you can also see what apps they have installed, which apps they're using the most, what websites they visit, the photos that they take. It's a really powerful tool, so obviously you don't want to abuse it. In order to get this to work, you need to install it on your Android phone and you'll then get prompted to go to the Spyzy website, which I'll link in the description, to download the secret app which runs in the background and monitors this for you. You can then track all of this information on another smartphone or on the website. If you've ever watched a James Bond film, you know the first thing he does when he goes into a hotel room is scan it for bugs. Normally you'd need a really expensive device to detect these, but nowadays you can actually use your smartphone. The app Ultimate EMF Detector is an electromagnetic force detector. This detects the amount of electromagnetic force that's coming off an object, so if you go behind a mirror and you start seeing loads of information coming off it, you know there's probably a camera or a bug hidden behind it. It's a really nice looking app, it's very simple and it does exactly what it says. Next on this list we have a macro that you can run using MacroDroid. MacroDroid is one of my favourite automation apps because it's really easy to use and you can download pre-made macros. And one of my favourites is simply called Spy. What this does is lets you turn your phone face down on the table and it will automatically start recording up to two minutes of audio. This is obviously really useful if you want to record a conversation, if you're a journalist or if you just want to snoop on people. All the audio data will be saved into a folder on your SD card and it's completely inconspicuous. You literally just flip your phone over and no one is going to know that you are recording. Whether you're a spy or a normal person, your private data is very important. And one of the best ways to privately browse on your phone is to use a VPN. One of my personal favourites is Orbot, which is from the same guys who make Tor. This will allow you to access the Tor network, and this will scramble all of your details so people won't be able to track what websites you're going to. You can set this up so it automatically launches at boot, or you can just make it run for specific apps or just run when you want it to. As well as Orbot, it comes with a browser called Orfox, and this allows you to browse absolutely privately so that no one is going to know what you've been looking at. It's a fully featured VPN, and it's got loads of other settings like bridging and relaying and in-app specific settings. So if you do want to browse anonymously and privately, then Orbot and Orfox are definitely two apps you should check out. Next on this list we have Alfred and this will allow you to turn any smartphone into a security camera. This is the best security camera app that I've found and I've tried out a lot of them and this is for a couple of reasons. Firstly, you can download Alfred on multiple devices and set up an entire network of connected Wi-Fi cameras, which is really cool. Secondly, it has loads of extra settings like the ability to email you if it detects motion and it will then send you the clip that is recorded. It's a really fully featured app that will allow you to use your old phones to actually monitor stuff and be really useful. It's got some cool extra settings like night mode, you can flip which camera is being recorded, you can access them live from any device and you can even access them from the web. You can see here I've got it installed on my G6 and I'm using my G6 as a camera and then using my Galaxy S8 as a viewer and you can see it works really well, the quality is really good and the fact that it can automatically tell you if it detects movement is just brilliant. Everyone's been in the situation where you receive a message on Facebook or WhatsApp and you want to be able to read it but you don't want the recipient to know that you've read it. There are a few ways to get around this and the easiest way is to use an app called Unseen. When you turn this on, whenever you receive a message, you receive two messages. The first one you can just open normally in like Facebook or WhatsApp. The second one you can open up in Unseen and this won't trigger the ticks or the red notifications in the specific app. You can then, at your leisure, scroll through entire conversations and no one will know that you've read them. If you want to reply, you can then click the button at the bottom and this will open it in the specific messaging app and allow you to reply as normal. One of the best things about smartphones is you can make them incredibly secure. But one thing this doesn't solve is knowing whether people have tried to actually access your device. And this is where LockWatch comes in. If somebody tries to unlock your smartphone and gets the code wrong, this will email you both a picture of the person, the location and a link which will allow you to either track or delete all the data on your phone. So there you are guys, that is a collection of some of my favourite spy apps and hacks for your Android smartphone. Let me know in the comments below which is your favourite, also let me know which apps I missed as I'm sure there are some, you guys always have really good suggestions. So thank you very much for watching, you can follow me on all my social media and whatnot with the links in the description and as always I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.